Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little one-page scrolling site. We've got a little hero section and some scroll effects, a little sticky bar up there. And we created this project section with some number counters here and a little video background. Somebody was asking, how do we actually make this add some icons to each of these? And it's really easy. So we'd be turning this into something like this. really easy to do so let's get started go back in here I'm going to enable my visual builder once enabled let's go down to where we want to work and what I'll do uh, to stop distraction I'm going to disable that video background I'm going to go in go to background here's the video up here I'm just going to trash it I can always re-add it in a little while okay that's not going to be quite so distracting there. So let's save that. Right, let's add some icons to all this. So I'm just going to hit the little dark button. And we're using all the regular modules of Divi. We're not using any external plugins for this today. I'm going to add a blurb module purely for the icon. There it is. It's down below. I don't want a title. And I don't want any content. I just want the icon itself. So I'm going to flip down to image and icon going to say use icon or of course you can upload your own ping or image or whatever you want to put there but well, I'm going to just use their icons for this today we'll go down there and choose an icon that we want to use pop that one in as you can see it's put it down there okay so we've got it in there let's make it how we want it gone over to the design tab image and icon I'm going to make mine white and I think I'm like might want to make it smaller so I'm going to use icon font size and let's make it about 70 you can type in a value don't need to put the pics in it'll put it there for you or you can use a slider and you can increment up and down with the arrows also okay so I'm fairly happy with that let's save that let's put it where we want it which is on top unless you want yours on the bottom leave it there there we go but it's a little too far up and the easiest way to fix this you can put negative margin on this one so it pulls it up tighter well let's just go into our row and remove the gutters and that'll tighten everything up the gutters are the space in between and up and down left and right here so I'm going to go into the row the green tab I'm going to go over to my design and sizing gutter width I'm going to take it down to zero yeah, that's going to work fine like I say if you want it tighter than that just go into this module and I'm not going to keep this but I'll show you how to do it and we'll go to design and spacing you can give it a negative margin on the top as you can see we're pulling that up as I'm doing this like I say I'm happy with mine as it is okay how easy was that next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to simply clone this instead of having to do it all over again Let's clone it drag one of them over it doesn't matter which one put in the icon of your choice again we'll clone it Not sure why that stayed blue there but I'm sure when, once we save it will go to the regular color I may need to clear my CSS cache again down to the image and icon choose whatever icon you want to use here we'll clone it one more time and put in the appropriate icon for that too That'll work fine. Okay, let's put our video back in the background here. Got into the section, the blue tab for the section up there. Background, back to video. At the video, it should be up here. 
there it is right there it shows you an example we'll put that one back in there okay now let's save our changes and exit the visual builder okay let's go down to where we were working and there it is and there's our little icons on the top really easy to do like I say so I hope that's answered your question what I will just show you is I mentioned just now about clearing the cache if some CSS doesn't seem to work on the back end thankfully it all works on the front end here but if you have a problem with that go to your dashboard go down to Divi go to theme options go to builder right here in the advanced tab of builder you've got status static CSS file generation usually it's set to on so you can enable it you can clear your cache a little check mark there and if you're having problems good idea to switch it off save your changes and you're good to go occasionally things will get caught up in the browser cache and you might need to do that so there you go guys that's how to add icons to your number counter I hope that's answered that question I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.